What's going on YouTube? It's Marco YT and we're back with another video. So for today's video we'll be talking about Safari Zone. This is a new feature that we have in Monster Carnival and these are the basics. There are three maps and it's only good for an hour. You also need a ticket which is 500 gems and it gives you a number of Safari Balls. To capture this old guy here will give you a mission and these are the maps so as you can see that's 18 hours and 19 18 to 19 hours so here's I how I do it so basically dinner is 17 to 19 so 18 to 19 is for Safari Zone so an hour right after you get your dinner your dinner energy bottle um, Safari Zone will be unlocked so as of this time we are just waiting for the safari zone to open up we will be testing it up and see what pokemon will be able to gather there this is the ticket we will also see if it's worth it or not because if the pokemons there are just farmable in the maps then basically safari zone is not worth it yeah 500 gems is not worth it All right. Okay. So, 2 minutes before the safari zone opens so here's the pokemons that i have just in case we have to battle or you, you know you, if we have to weaken the pokemon or things like that but we will see in a, la in a later part Okay, it seems that the problem with waiting is, it, it's, you know, it's quite, the time of waiting is quite long. Even if it's just two minutes, but yeah, we will just get over this right after this, uh, right after, right after it opens. So we will be choosing Grassland, the first one, because of the mission from this old guy here. He says to capture two grass Pokemon, so we will be completing that one. Okay. All right. So there we go, and let's proceed. This is Safari Zone. Oh. Wait. Did it, did it just kick me out? Yeah, it did. Damn. Let's try to check. Okay, got enter. Hey. Yeah, I want to go back. I spent 500 gems. Oh, okay. So it's a trap. Okay, okay, I get it. So the first launch of Safari Zone is not good. Let's check. Oh, okay. There's a lot of players who experience this as well. Not only me. So basically it's a bug. And hopefully... They will notice this right away and you know we have to be compensated to what we we spent you know it's 500 gems and according to my guildmate it's almost about eight dollars if you will buy it oh my god 
a lot of people here are complaining about it so we lost 500 gems we lost the ticket and we haven't catched any pokemon from safari zone so this is a trap hopefully the developers will be able to notice this and fix the problem and yeah it's gg 500 gems I'm just gonna see what um, other people are are uh, saying about this oh okay I think this guy tried twice because he said GG 10 I mean 1000 gems whoa whoa this is really a trap what a what a what a bug it costs you a lot no Pokemons from Safari Zone, no ticket return right after you get kicked out, and your 500 gems are gone. So, compensation should be five Safari tickets, man. <laughs> Or at least they will return our 500 gems, you know. Or if they can't return 500 gems, then maybe tickets, Safari tickets will, will do. Because it's such a waste. We've wait, a lot of players have waited. Like me, I've waited for the Safari Zone to open up. But then, yeah, it's a trap. All right. Let's try it again. Okay, item is not enough. Good thing that I have 300 because I was planning to buy again, but I just have 300 gems left, so I didn't experience the 1k GG gems. Oh, this is my guildmate. Let me just warn 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 her. Okay. So I'm warning my guildmates because I don't want them to lose 500 gems as well. So I'm good being the sacrificial lamb here. But hopefully they will be able to compensate the loss that we have because a lot of players are com complaining about this. In world chat and since it's bugged surely I'll be st I'll still post this in Facebook and YouTube so that it will be known so I think this will be all for now guys and thanks and have a great day ciao